What's up guys, AJ here from the Swip side, and as little Bobby and I promised earlier today, if you checked out my little YouTube short, I'm here with a, another action figure review, and today I'm going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Wong figure. And as you can see, I have Wong still in his plastic prison, just to show off the packaging real quick. Nothing spectacular, same standard Marvel Legends packaging. Here's Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Wong, his accessories. Picture of Wong. Another picture of Wong. Wong. How many times can I say Wong? <laughs> A little bio. The other figures in the wave to build Rintra. So that's enough of that. Oh, forgot. Got it. I've been forgetting lately. The mumbo jumbo on the bottom. So out of the package, Wong comes with some more... Rintra Build-A-Figure pieces, of course. So I'm one step closer to building him. That's cool. It comes with a alternate gripping hand. The cool magic effects we've been getting. Where they're sculpted right in. The hands are sculpted right in. I like these more than the slip-on magic effects that we get for every power character. It seems like the Shocker and things like that. I like how they went and did this. I'm not sure how new these are. I have, my first Doctor Strange figure was actually the What If Sorcerer Supreme Strange, I think they call them. So they could have had these for a while, and I didn't know. <laughs> and then he comes with a sword, which is nicely well done, I think. I love the gold and the white handle. If I can get it into focus, I promise you it's white. <laughs> but really cool. And taking a look at Wong, I am super happy to have this figure because he's a character I really like in the MCU. I just think he's a great character. Funny as hell. <laughs> and I'm happy that we have one. And there's a lot going on with this guy. Up close you see all this detailed pattern in his clothes. Some design work. I like all the trim. And the gold, well, yellowish gold and gold. <laughs> I'm going to say gold a lot. But yeah, really nice and a lot of detail in him. Um, the, His waist belt thing, sash thing, has got some nice leather detail. Going down towards his legs. Everything is nice and detailed. Fairly clean, clean paint. Wrap on this arm. Some kind of bracer on this arm, which, <laughs> when I was looking at him, is that a hidden blade from Assassin's Creed? <laughs> I saw that, and that's what it, immediately I thought of. So pretty cool. Maybe Wong, besides being the current Sorcerer Supreme, Sorcerer Supreme, maybe he's also an assassin. But yeah, some more detail in the back. They didn't really skimp out on that. Some more texture here. So yeah, I think he came out really, really awesome looking. As we move into articulation, forgot to point out that I really love the head portrait on him. I think it really evokes the actor. So yeah, once again, awesome. And speaking of articulation, he does articulate from head to about waist. He articulates nicely. <laughs> so you get some, oh, knocking everything around. You can look up and his head moves and his neck moves too so he can bury his chin it's got some good side to side with that tilt so all sorts of movement up there which is cool of course his arm goes up swivels bicep nice double jointed elbows pinless go all the way up of course wrist rotation in and out some nice tilt and turn and decent amount of arc decent amount of crunch too for having this big sash in his way too i was really surprised with that and then the reason i say of course he doesn't articulate so well here is because of all this going on kind of traps it which is a shame because it looks like it would articulate fairly nicely if this wasn't blocking everything because there is an upper thigh and then this one I did it was really stuck. You hear that pop? Strong. But yeah, you get 
single joint, I think. He, can't really tell, but he does have baggy pants. But yeah, it's a shame that all this kind of traps his articulation. He's got nice ankle pivot. Foot goes back that far, up that far. So yeah, up top, a lot of nice things going on. Down bottom, it's just Trap City. And here we have him with the What If series, Doctor Strange, I think Sorcerer Supreme. I call him Evil Strange. And even though he has the anima animated vibe going on, I think the colors really match up nicely. These two, the colors of their costumes, uniform, or whatever you want to call them, their wizard garb. But yeah, still one of my favorite car uh, figures lately i just love that figure great character from the show so bottom line for me is that i'm happy that i've got a chance to add wong into my marvel legends collection i like i said i like the character i love the character from the movies every time he shows up never i never fail to laugh just a great character very entertaining awesome uh complimentary personality to stephen strange in the movies that's a big plus. I love for the figure. I love the accessories he came with. Articulation hindrances aside, I think he moves really good besides the, those hindrances. And the figure itself looks fantastic. So I couldn't be hap happier with this figure. So that will about do it. Just wanted to say once again, thanks for all the support. Got those 100 subscribers. And I will be doing the um drawing or contest or whatever have you video for the thwip side mystery box of fun on saturday so make sure you check that out if you want to win for a chance to win and that'll about do it for tonight and i will see you guys right real soon right back here on the thwip side later man i really can't decide if i want to play with my wong or my thing tonight